How has marriage changed you personally and practically? Um, yeah, I've, I've learned, I guess I've learned balance, you know, I think uh, having kids now um, and a wife, you know, you, you need to learn to manage your time way better. Um, and I think that's been a unique challenge for me. Um, yeah, you can't get absorbed in yeah, something for I, five days at a time. Really. No, yeah, that, uh, I did that a lot in my career. But I think, uh, you know, also just when you are in that moment to make that moment, you know, really real. Um, if I'm giving my wife time to really make sure that I'm giving her proper time. And, and likewise with the kids, you know, don't, don't be around, but, you know, not be around, if you know what I mean. So when, when I get those moments outside being really busy, I try and maximize it and, and make sure that I, I really um, put the time and effort in at that time. How are you handling such a big change in your life? You were a young man, you only had yourself to worry about, and now there are three other people depending on you. I think probably the captaincy has played a role in that. I mean, I, at 22, I suddenly started taking care of 15 other guys on tour <laughs> and coaches and, and staff and, and many other assets. So I almost kind of ran a business for, and, and family in a way is, I wouldn't say it's a business. I mean, there's a lot more love and care involved, but it's kind of a similar th thing. You need to manage relationships, you know. Um, so um, from my perspective, I think that probably helped me in a role um, from an emotional intelligence point of view, understanding mm -hmm. people. Um, but, you know, my wife still keeps me uh, on the straight and narrow. She gives me a clap every now and again and keeps me, <laughs> keeps me solid. But, uh, yeah, I, I think the thing is I'm with people that I want to make the effort for. Mm. And I, I think that's a big thing. My, my wife mm. and my kids is, uh, play a big role in my life and I want to, to make the effort uh, mm. for them. And that thing that uh, we were referring to it earlier, your little girl is, uh, was injured recently, that... I remember when, when my son was, was little, that kind of feeling of that you melt mm. when you're with them and you just, want to, you just want to be there all the time and protect them against everything. I know. I, when, I, when I think about it, it was a real stressful time in my life um, when she got hurt. We were in the middle of a massive series against Australia um, and I was literally taking her to the hospital in the morning of the games, having the procedures and then having to leave to go and play. Uh, the test match uh, and then well, was the next day's play. Uh, she was burnt with hot water. Yeah, she got burnt with hot water down her face and arm and leg and you know so I was taking her into the hospital, um, doctors would, I'd walk in with her, she'd be gassed on, you know, put her out and then I'd lay on the bed and walk out and wait for her to recover and then go to the ground to play against Australia. So it was a, a very stressful time um, and probably played a big role in, in, in why I retired also.